Hello and welcome to iCharts Option Tools. Uh, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the Futures OI Scan tool. You can start the tool from here, Futures, Futures OI Scan. By default, latest data is selected and you will be seeing the current day's data. This today section here will show you uh, the price change, OI change, PCR, as of today compared to yesterday's closing prices. These sections 15, last 15 minutes, last 30 minutes, last 60 minutes, uh, show you uh, the status uh, of OI price change and OI change compared to previous 15 minutes over here, previous 30 minutes and previous 60 minutes. Now when uh, in the morning, uh, when 9.18, when the OI data starts, uh, NSE updates OI data starting 918, that is three minutes, and then continues every three minutes. So at 918, this particular data is going to, uh, uh, that is today's data is going to be compared with 15 minutes overlapping the previous day. So you can, you would know uh, what has happened in the last 15 minutes and uh, compared to uh, today's data. Same for 30 and 60 minutes. So it, you can, so you would know if this is particular script is in say, for example, short buildup, then whether previous days, uh, last 15, 30, 60 minutes also were similar or what was happening. I mean, if this strength from yesterday is continuing a strength of weakness from yesterday is continuing into today's day or not, you would be able to gauge using these three sections. And even in intraday, you would see if, if there are uh, uh, scripts that you have identified in long buildup or short buildup, then these three sections uh, you would be able to use to uh, make sure that the strength or weakness is continuing and it's not weakening. These two sections probably let you identify uh, short-term pullbacks uh, intraday, that uh, tradable pullbacks. So you could probably uh, identify uh, long buildup and short buildup trades based on today's section and the 60 minute section. And then tradable pullbacks using 15 minutes and 30 minutes. So a little bit about the filters over here. You can filter by entering whatever you want. See, I would enter this and then press enter here. Just type here in the filter box and press enter to filter scripts you want to go back here just remove that and hit enter and you're back here so you can also sort by clicking on the header here generally what uh, one would do is say if you want to track long buildup and short buildup You could just type long build up here and hit enter and this would give you scripts which are in long build up. And you could compare with sections here. If you, you can make, if for example, if this uh, these scripts are in long build up and then the last 60 minutes also is showing long build up, then it could mean that uh, it is strongly uh, in long build up or the trend could be up. So you could take a look at, you get shortlist this way and then take a look at each script in the chart and then see maybe possibly identify uh, tradable uh, pullbacks or whatever your trading setups, you can take a look at those. So this is a good way to shortlist scripts for trading. And say for example, if the all these are in now in uh, long buildup in today and uh, last 60 minute section, uh, you could, these red here, that is a profit booking or long unwinding and short buildup uh, can indicate uh, intraday pullbacks that could be tradable. So you could probably maybe go and check this chart of this script and see if there is a pullback going on and if the trend is maybe continuing based on whatever indicators you would like to track. So a good way to shortlist scripts, I think. One additional thing you could you could do is say you could type here greater than five to see if OI change is significant. Uh, usually, uh, one would like to uh, 
have say maybe greater than 5% or maybe 10%, few people track 10%. To see if it's really significant, this long buildup may not be significant if it's just maybe 0.5 percent or 1 percent or so. So you want maybe you would like to try with 5 percent. If you remove this, then you would get enter here, and you would get both long and short buildup with significant OI changes. So maybe these scripts maybe have significant buildup going on, then they so this would be a good short list uh, to maybe track or maybe dig. A little bit deeper into the charts and see what's happening there. So this would this would keep updating every one minute. Uh, the data is going to update, and the actual OI data is of course going to change every three minutes. So you can keep an eye on this. Just keep this open and maybe uh, shortlist stocks, and then dig deeper and maybe apply your technical setups, and you can go from there. Thank you.